So this is, um, I'm not going to talk today about Bitcoins. Um, this, uh, I'll talk about uh, finding uh, an MPC friendly symmetric key primitive. Um, this is joint work with uh, Lorenzo, Christian, Nigel and Peter. So first I will um, show you a brief overview of what is MPC. So we have a group of players who want to compute uh, a function over their inputs while keeping them private. In an ideal setting, each party will um, give their input to some trusted third party. In this case, Santa Claus. Um, Santa Claus will compute the output of the function and send it back to the parties. But in the real world, as we know, there is no Santa Claus. Um, so we replace it with a, with, a, with a real protocol between the players when, when uh, each player communicate between each other. Okay, so let's see what kind of problems can we uh, tackle using MPC, some interesting problems. So we have on one hand linear programming, integer comparison, fixed point arithmetic, and auctions. These problems, besides being interesting, um, they, um, they share something. Namely, they are easy to implement uh, with arithmetic circuits mod P. Okay, but there's a problem. Fortunately, these guys have figured it all out. They have computed the answer to the life, universe, and everything. And what other good way to do that than using an MPC protocol, right? So they have the answer in secret share four. But there's, there's this blue guy, let's call it Bob, who is searching for answers. And he wants to get the answer in a, in a secure manner. So a first solution which comes into mind is Bob will generate a pair of secret keys with each party uh, each party will encrypt its share with their secret key, send it to the Bob. Now Bob will decrypt the shares, and then he will add those, and he, it will get the, the secret the, in clear form. So he'll get 42. Um, but there's, there's something else to this. We can do this because Bob is quite lazy and he doesn't want to store that many keys. He can just simply choose one key, such that its sum is equal to the sum of the other keys, distribute the key, the keys, and he remember that he will hold only one key. Now, these players invoke Santa Claus. Santa Claus will compute an encryption of 42, and they will send the encryption of 42 to Bob, and now Bob can use its, its key, just one key, to decrypt the the, uh, the answer. Another use case is instead of having, uh, instead of each party having um, a, a uh, an encrypted database, they can hold just one, you, just one database using, um, using an encryption algorithm in MPC. So until now, this was done um, using a PRF which works in binary fields. But this is not good. Why? Because in MPC world, um, changing shares, conversion between shares is quite expensive. So the take home message of this, of this work is that we, we have solved the problem to, to move data securely between the clients and MPC engines. Also, um, before this, uh, this um, this was believed to be solved, but uh, I mean, uh, um, they they were um, all all the protocols were using just PRFs in binary fields, and the conversion was expensive. So this was like um, swept under the rug. Basically, it, one client can send can send some shares in encrypted form to some. MPC engines, those MPC engines compute it and then retrieve the, the answer back. But this was hidden, uh, this was swept inside of, uh, under a rug. So we need a PRF which works in mod P. Uh, why? Because the encryption and decryption can be used in counter mode and we can use only PRF calls to that. 
we can avoid the, the endfold da database uh, and the key blow up by secret sharing the key um, in MPC. And again, I want to stress that conversion between binary and arithmetic shares is quite expensive in the MPC land. Okay, so we have other cases for PRFs in MPC. We have secure database joins, we have oblivious RAM, um, searchable encryption, or the revealing encryption, and uh, lots of other use cases. Okay, so what we have done is that we benchmark and created new protocols using PRFs within speeds protocol. Okay, why speeds? Because it's an MPC protocol which has active security with this honest majority. Uh, now it has a 200 times faster offline phase, pre-processing phase. You will see this in the talk uh, tomorrow, I think. And it is open source, so check it out. Now let's, let's remember a bit uh, what is MPC with secret sharing 101. The type of secret sharing is done uh, by an additive secret sharing, namely each party has has a share of some number, in this case I, and they can uh, all add the shares up to reveal the, to obtain, uh, to obtain the, um, the answer in clear. Um, if less than n minus one parties, if less than n parties have recombined their shares, they cannot retrieve any information. So that's why it's, it's secure with this honest majority. Basically, we can think of the MPC as being a two two phases two phase problem. We have the pre-processing phase in which we generate triples, bits, squares, and lots of them, and we have the online phase where we can use that fuel to, um, in which like we use one triple for each multiplication gate, and the number of communication rounds is given by the multiplicative depth. Okay, so we have the pre-processing phase and the online phase. Let's see uh, an example, how, how we do a circuit evaluation in speeds. So suppose we have X, Y, and Z, some input secrets shared. We want to multiply X and Y, Y and Z. We use two triples. We can do the addition of the result locally. Then we multiply again, we use another triple. So we have in total, three triples and the uh, multiplicative depth gives the number of rounds, namely two. Okay, so what PRFs we have looked at? Uh, we have looked at AS, Low MC, Naurangal PRF, MIMC, and Legendre PRF. Um, there has been little uh, work, uh, there has been little uh, priory work, namely just Low MC. Uh, this was um, a cipher which was designed for doing, um, for having like a low depth circuit in, for MPC and FHE land. And um, yeah, uh, we took the rest of them. But remember that this is not good because low MC and AS, they all work in binary fields. The other three work in, pri in prime fields. Okay, so now let's play a game. So I think maybe not so many of you have played Need for Speed, but n now we'll play Need for MPC, all right? So we have the AS, which uh, is a de facto benchmark, and its circuit, circuit has 900, around 900 multiplications. It has 50 rounds, and the way we evaluate it is um, in, a, in a binary circuit, over F2 to the 40. And this is, as you see, um, PRF on blocks. So how does the offline phase looks like? So we can generate per second um, enough pre-processing material for five evaluations. How about the latency of the online phase? So it's, it's quite good, it has eight milliseconds latency, and the throughput is not bad either. So we can, uh, we can have 500, around 500 evaluation per second for throughput. Okay, so again, um, we compare our PRFs with AS just for benchmarking purpose. In real world, we want to keep all data in primary fields, in prime fields. So the first PRF we have looked at was uh, the Nair Angle PRF. Basically, this is 
Um, this is um, a PRF which um, has a generator and in the exponent it has a um, product of some, of, a, of some keys and the key is um, composed by some elements in FP. Okay, so the naive way would be uh, to evaluate this inside some group operations, but we need like big groups for having a reasonable security parameter. So what we did instead is that we took the now Rangel PRF and we use uh, the NIST P256 curve. So we will have, we will need pre-processing material for 256 elements, for, uh, bits, in, um, 256 um, prime field element. Um, okay. Fortunately, in some applications, the output must be public. Okay. So we we de we developed a, an algorithm which uh, computes a public exponentiation. So we only need to deal with the product um, from the exponent. So. This is a, an elliptic curve-based PRF. Uh, it ha we have an active security version for public output. Why, is, why elliptic curve? Because it has a smaller modulus. And so we have two versions of this protocol. We have a version which takes um, two n multiplications and four plus log n rounds. We also give another version. This uses a clever trick for from um, Barry, Elan, and Beaver from 89, which was uh, then optimized by Katrina in 2010. So we give a constant round version for the now wrong LPRF. And let's see how the offline phase looked like. So we can generate enough preprocessing material for, for five evaluations per second. The latency so we, we see that the offline is quite bad as uh, for the cyclist. It's quite, it's quite um, hard to like, uh, get enough preprocessing material for them to run. So we have like four milliseconds latency and we have a free, oh, almost 400 blocks throughput. So it's kind of like the AS with better latency and worse preprocessing phase. So it turns out that Results have shown that 70% of the time was used for elliptic curve computation. Uh, so not the, co not the communication is bot the bottleneck, rather the computation. Okay, so the other PRF we have looked at is MIMSI. So it has an input. Um, how, how does it work, this block cipher? So this block cipher appeared as um, necessity for um, lowering the number of multiplications and the multiplicative depth. So this, in fact, works over binary fields and also prime fields. So we have the, um, the input x and the secret and the key k, we, we cube it. Then we XOR the output with, um, we add to the output some key and some constant, then we cube it. Then again, we add to the output the key and some constant, then we, we cube it, and so on. So this is how an uh, n-round MIMSI works. Okay, so let's see how it behaves. So we have 146 multiplications and 73 rounds. We give one variant for, which is optimized for latency and other for throughput. So this is uh, a PRF which works in both worlds, in the MPC and in clear. So it's important for some application to have this um, malleability, so to say. So what's the offline phase? So it's quite fast. We, have, we can generate per second for 34 evaluations. The online phase is also quite fast. It has a six milliseconds latency, but the throughput is so much bigger than the AS. So it's 16 times bigger than the AS. Um, okay, but we have the other PRF we have looked at is the Legendre PRF. So in 1988, uh, Damgar conjectured that this sequence is random, starting for, from a random K. 
So if we start for, from a random k and we compute the Legendre symbol of k, k plus one, and so on, this should be random. So this is, uh, this doesn't look like a really good idea to evaluate in MPC. So for one bit output, we have to compute log n multiplications and log p rounds. So that's quite a lot for a single bit. What we did instead was reducing this to two multiplications and three rounds. So this is the new version of the large under PRF. So let's see how the offline phase works. So for, again, this is for one bit output, but we can extend this to how many bits we want. So we have a 250 times faster offline phase than AS. The online phase is 25 five, five times faster than AS. The throughput is huge. We have 380 times AS. Um, so yeah, it's quite big. But uh, this is, remember, for one bit out. But if we extend it to 128 bits, it's still faster than AS and the now wrangled. It, it's almost closely the, the same as MIMC, but MIMC wins over this one with, uh, with a bit of, a, of an advantage. So how does it work? Oh, don't worry, this is uh, my first and the last uh, slide with the formulas on it. Um, so we have alpha, which is a fixed quadratic non-residue modulo p, namely, if we compute the Legendre symbol of that, it will give you minus one. So the main trick here is that we compute the Legendre symbol in clear, not in MPC land. So to evaluate um, the PRF um, with input x on kk, uh, this is all secret shared. We take a random square, a random bit, then we compute this product. Um, okay, well, 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 what, what does it say? So let's let's simplify this. Let's say that b is one. Okay, if b is one, then in the first product, in the second line, we have that t is equal to s square. Okay, so that's that's a random square. Um, if we compute the Legendre symbol of that, um, of that square, it will give us one because it's a square. So we based, so our observation was that the Legendre symbol is multiplicative, and if we multiply k plus x, the Legendre symbol of k in k plus x with the one in square, s square, it will give us the Legendre symbol of k plus x. And to obtain the the output in secret share form, we just multiply it by, by the share of the bit one. Let's see what we get if we have the, if b is equal to zero. So if b is equal to zero, we have t is equal to um, s, s squared times alpha. So we open that value, we compute the Legendre symbol of uh, a few in that point, so because s squared times alpha, um, so basically we have to switch the signs of the Legendre symbol, and that's what we do in when we multiply by minus one in the, in the right-hand side of the Legendre symbol of u. Okay, so this is the main observation in this one was that we don't need to compute the Legendre symbol in MPC word, we compute it in, in clear. Is it, is it secure, Fo? Uh, and the answer is yes. So we give a reduction to the shifted Legendre symbol problem. Namely, if we are given k plus x, we need to find x. So we, we reduce it to this problem. So summary. We have efficiently solved, this time, the problem of sending data securely between MPC engines or MPC engines and clients. PRFs mod P in MPC are fast. Can you find other applications which are built on top of these? And for proofs of one timings, other details, we also have the benchmark of the low MC um, in speeds. Check out our paper. Uh, thank you. Questions? Questions? 
good talk anikit kate for you so my question was uh, i look at these example but there are also other prfs like this dodis lampazive or just the some prfs in random oracle so maybe i missed that part but you pick some of them right uh, yeah any reason like what yeah so we we give in paper if you if we if we if we want a, a prf which works which has low latency, we would use the Legendre PRF. Um, if we want to use um, PRF which works, um, which works in both clear and MPC efficiently, we would use the MIMC. Uh, we can uh, exclude it, I mean, uh, we can exclude it for like from the beginning, the narrow angle PRF. It would, first it, it looked like it would be an interesting proposal, but experiments have shown that th we need more CPU for doing that fast. So it's some it's it's a trade-off between using the MIMC and Legendre PRF. It depends on what use case you want. Sorry, I was ask, not asking for the one you include. I was asking other PRF schemes like uh, Dodius Lampaziv or or the let's let's say hash based PRF where you just hash with a random oracle and exponent that with the key kind of PRF schemes. So maybe I'm missing something, but I don't know why you didn't include. I didn't mean the schemes that you already mentioned. I was asking for the other. Okay, we, uh, we haven't looked at other PRFs. If, we, if you have another proposal, then uh, please talk with me and maybe I'll benchmark it. <laughs> uh, Jan Willemsson, Cybernetica. Uh, this MIMC seems to be quite uh, new primitive, so can you give a brief comment on, on uh, how much security analysis it has undergone and, and what are the security claims? Yeah, so um, we, we tested the MIMC with 128-bit security. Um, it's also quite new, but um, it, it, I mean, maybe cryptanalysts should look more at, into this MIMC cipher to see if you, if you have to like increase the number of rounds to see some, some properties, to, to see some security properties. But what we did is that we took the MIMC and evaluated it as it is now with 128-bit security. So let me jump into this MIMC question. I'm one of the designers of MIMC. And um, we circulated this proposal already for one or two years in the crypt analysis community. It only got formally published this year at AsiaCrypt. And uh, people tried to break it already and didn't manage yet. But of course, it's not, you cannot put as much trust into it as a yes, because it's still out there. But I think also with this um, result, it gets more attention. And then if it's not broken in one or two years, it, it may indeed be secure. Uh, so the latency and throughput numbers are all kind of dependent on some sort of configuration. Was there basically no network latency to speak of uh, for these benchmarks? No, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, I, I'm curious how, how the system was configured when you ran these benchmarks, because with, with MPC, of course, things are sensitive to, say, the latency of the individual parties. Uh, so, so we give some results for the one. Is that what you're asking, for the one setting when, in which the latency between computers are, is high? Yes. Yeah, yeah, we, we have some timings for that in our paper. Thank you. Also, I wanted to get an idea. Is it worth, if you do computation, secure computation in, uh, in binary, is it worth converting into? Uh, is it worth to implement? Uh, uh, yeah, because, so in speeds, you, you'll implement things very easily if, it, if they are written in, in uh, prime field uh, circuits. No, no, if, let's say I have a computation that I do Computation over Boolean, not over prime field, right? Yeah. But these are, as I understand, faster than AES and Boolean. Is that right? Is that right? Uh, yeah, it's it's so faster does than. It, is it does it is it worth converting? Like in, in your use case that you said that there is a this computing engine that does something, the three parties, right? And then they send you stuff. So is it worth for them to compute it in Boolean field, convert it into prime field, and then apply? No, because that, that's very expensive. So for AS, we didn't even do the bit decomposition for that. So timings for AS are over binary fields. So if, we, if you want to convert the AS in prime fields, it will be much, much, much slower. OK. OK, no more questions? No. Um, did you look at the lattice-based PRFs? Will they be 
useful here? New the the lattice-based PRFs? Yes. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, we can finally thank him second time. Thank you.